This land is special to us, especially the people that are born and bred here. Um, it's our connection to the spiritual world as well as Papa Tūnuku. We aren't the people that we are if we didn't have land that we can call our own. As kaitiaki, we look after this land. What we have been tasked with, it doesn't come lightly. It means everything to us and for those to come, for the generations that are coming after us. So the farm is uh, 9,000 9, hectares and we run, we run about 60,000 sheep and about 8,000 cattle. Whangara is a group of three Marion corporations. Working for Whangara Farms is, um, is special in the fact that you're a caretaker of um, other people's land and it's pretty important that you look after it in a really good sustainable way for, for future generations. We've been working with Silverfern Farms for about the last nine years. We supply most of our stock, probably 95 to 100% of our stock um, are processed through Silverfern. We describe it as a relationship and it's a partnership really. We have like-minded goals. I grew up on a farm I feel really connected to farmers and, and the passion that they have uh, for land and I saw this as an opportunity to bring that to my work. The Net Carbon Zero program dates back right to when Silverfern farms what we call our plate to pasture strategy and that's about connecting what consumers want in their food uh, to what farmers are doing on farm and uh, about two years ago we kicked off a pilot with 17 farms to deeply understand what their emissions profile was and just as importantly, what they could do to reduce those emissions, but the role that woody vegetation was playing on those farms in helping to fight climate change through carbon sequestration. So as part of that program, we've been looking at fencing off our some woodlots, waterways, enhancement plantings of wetlands, uh, retirement areas, planting trees. So oh. good to see all this understory coming through. Eh? Yeah, there's just seedlings everywhere. Eh? No, it's awesome. Real awesome. So what we've started to do is um, we're working with three different uh, satellite layers and each of those has a different resolution and, um, and then training computer software to identify what types of vegetation are, how big they are and how old they are. Okay. Wow. And those are the three kind of components that make up uh, how much carbon is absorbed by each of those blocks. Oh wow, well, awesome. And so we're standing here now around yep. this block. Yeah. And how long has that been fenced off? So this has been fenced off about 20 years, nearly nine hectares. And um, yeah, so it's been, it's been retired for that long. Yeah, that's so good, eh? Yeah. Like, um, because it's just, as you can see, it's making such a difference. Yeah, no, it's awesome. If stock have access to under the canopy of growing trees, then they're just effectively mowing off the little seedlings that are coming through. As soon as you fence that off, it's like a little microcosm of rich soil that is perfect for all of that seed bank to just shoot away under the canopy. This is a, a pretty unique program in that um, a lot of products claim to be carbon neutral or net carbon zero. But the way that they have to achieve that is by going and purchasing credits from somewhere else outside of their production system. And what we have done effectively is said um, that there's vegetation growing on farms all over New Zealand. And we're paying them directly for the amount of carbon dioxide that is sequestered by the amount of trees on their farm. What are we being? We're being kai, kai chaki. We're going to be being, being kai chaki. We're not just talking about it, we're going to go and do it. We're going to go and plant some trees and then later... There's a wee school down there. You go sit and talk to any of those kids and they'll tell you about Mother Earth. They'll tell you about how to plant a tree. They understand the, the cultural ramifications of what environmental well-being, they understand the social implications. They very much advocate and champion uh, some of the stuff that we should have been doing at that age. They are the ones that will ensure 
that this whenua, this papa whenua, this, this land is maintained to the integrity and the respect uh, that it needs to be. We are one big family here um, and when you have a family it changes how you look at sustainability and, how, and the environment and so the better the better that we can leave the environment or the world in our lifetime, it's going to be a better life for our kids and, and their kids. A whakatauki, a Māori proverb, toitū te marae a tāne, toitū te marae a tangoro, toitū te whenua, which means if we care for the house of tāne, the kaitiaki of the forests, if we care for the house of Tangaro, the kaitiaki of oceans and waterways, then the land will prosper, the land will be cared for.